hello everyone welcome to our channel once again please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this rivers governor Ian wiki has told the people of the state to trust him in the choice of presidential candidates they should vote for on saturday the governor insisted the choice already made by stakeholders was done with the interest of the state at heart wiki said he would not mislead the people maintaining that he would continue to protect the interest of the state at all times Inaugurating many important road developments in the Port Harcourt local government area on Thursday, the governor gave a speech. The dualized Azikwe Iloabuchi Ilo Road was the first project that the governor unveiled at the Ojoto roundabout in Maltu Diobu in Port Harcourt. Others included the Edokia Fimie Aeroplane Drive Okuru Junction to Abuloma Jetty Road reconstruction, which was done in the Abuloma village at the Aeroplane Drive Junction. You must also make the, the people happy when you have the chance to gain their trust, he remarked. How can you provide them joy? That is done by ensuring that you give them resources that transform their environment, enhance their quality of life, and boost local economies. Wiki emphasized that Rivers had given him numerous opportunities to succeed in both his personal and professional lives. He emphasized that nothing not even a pot of pottage like other people who solely desired personal gain would induce him to sell the state. I'm confident the locals will continue to recall what this road looked like. He said, If I were you, I would hang both the old and modern photos of this Ilobuchi road in your home. As you are waking, you examine both the past and the present. I owed them a lot in my life for what River State has given me, and I will continue to defend their interests. I'm not going to trade someone a pot of porridge for River State. For this reason, believe me when I say that this is the right place. I won't try to trick you. I don't belong to the group of leaders that... Wow. <laughs> Governor Yusuf Winkle of River State is uh, uh, admonishing the people of River State to trust him that he will not mislead them you know, for the, in the choice of pre preferred presidential candidates. When you see these politicians come out to canvass vote for presidential candidate and governorship candidate and all that, sometimes you think they are doing it for the best interest of the state. But I want to tell you that no. Uh, everyone is doing something for what he stands to gain. I keep repeating that over and over. And maybe that will have been my slogan. That God for us or everybody for himself. You know, everybody who is, anyone who you see doing something is doing it for a reason and uh, especially when it comes to you know election year people are fighting to gain to, uh, to political office everybody you see around them is not just doing it because they love the man so much no they are doing it because they believe that if the man get to the place of authority get to that office they will be a beneficiary of that singular uh of, 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 of we will be a beneficiary that's why you see people doing all that they are doing. Now, uh, Yesu Nwike, the governor of River State, and uh, the, lead, the leader of the G5 governor, whom has agreed with his G5 governors to endorse Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, as their preferred presidential candidate. A few days to the election, went behind the G5 you know, governors to endorse Bola Ahmed Tunubu of the All Progressive Congress now is preaching to his people to trust him you know for the uh, to trust him with the with the with the presidential with the, his, his choice of presidential candidate and the question i ask um, I, 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 I bother in my mind is these people what did they take their people for these governors what did they take their people for you are talking to fathers husband you know, uh, brothers, you are talking to, you know, traditional rulers, everyone. And sometimes you, 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 you talk to them as if they, they, they don't have the mind of their own. As if they don't have a mind of their own. With all that has happened from the day of primary to date, if anyone is burning on listening to Nwike and obeying what he's saying, then the person also must be checked. 
I'm sorry to say this. Because these people, this man is not doing what he's doing for the benefit of anyone. He's fighting for himself. He's fighting to remain relevant in the politics. He's fighting to make sure that this is his last tenure, that after he leaves office, he will still remain relevant. And whatsoever they're going to make him remain relevant, even to the detriment of his next door neighbor, his best friends, he will do it. That is the kind of man I see here. That is the kind of man I see here. If you, as the leader of a G5 governor, you have sat and agreed that you are going to endorse a particular presidential candidate, and few days to that general election, you went behind your 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 group, who, the group which you are leading, to endorse another presidential candidate. Then I think you are you are not worthy to be listened to. Because that is what they call betrayal, backstabbing. Now, uh, the autumn came out to explain what transpired between the G5 governors. As it is now, the G5 governors, their, uh, their ideology is being defeated just because one man had some hidden agenda. You thought you wanted to become the president. You lost out. Then, you were hoping they were going to be picked as the vice president. When you were not picked as vice president, what happened? You went out there to, to, to start fighting the, the national chairman of your party. You want him to be removed. And you keep singing song that Now, you formed a group, the G5 governor. People followed you. Because they trust and they believed in you. And they keep fighting, making sure that the national chairman of your party comes to the south, while the presidential candidate comes to go to the north. At the end of the day, you came to an agreement with your men who are fighting with you. To you know, who are fighting with you. You agreed for a particular presidential candidate. Just few hours. Few hours to the presidential election, few hours to the cause which you are fighting, you went back, backstabbed them, and endorsed a different candidate entirely from what you have agreed on. Now you are telling the people of the state to trust your choice of presidential candidate. When the same thing that I believe this is the same thing you have also told your G5 governors to trust your instinct, to trust your leadership. So when you are not stable as a man, you are not stable, in, 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 you cannot keep a gentleman agreement, how do you expect people to trust you? Because people are going to look at your history, are going to look at things they have done to be able to trust you. That is what I think here. So, but with what is happening, you cannot be trusted. I'm very sorry to say that. Well... I want you to feel free to comment below. Let's know your thoughts concerning this. And also subscribe to our channel for updates on this amount of content. Thank you.